Hey everyone, Nefertil Tech here. Today I'm taking a look at the newly released Paranoid Android ROM based upon Android 7.1.2 Nougat. So for those who don't know what the ROM is about, it is a very clean and stock-like ROM with a few neat customization options. The main goals of this ROM are the stability and the smoothness. This version of Paranoid Android is especially optimized for Qualcomm-based devices like the OnePlus 3, the 3T and the Nexus devices because the ROM is CAF optimized, which, which means that it works really well on Qualcomm chips like the Snapdragon 820 and the 821. At the moment, the ROM is based upon the latest Android OS available, Android 7.1.2. So a few main points of this ROM are the newly updated Pi controls, which you can use to gather the immersive mode to hide in software navigation buttons and notification bar and instead rely on swipe gestures to move around in the interface. When you activate the Pi controls, you can see the date and time as well as your notifications. You can trigger the Pi controls from the bottom of the screen or slide in from the side, whatever you prefer. You can also change the theme and accent colors of the UI within the settings menu. So if your device rocks an AMOLED panel, you can select the black theme and save some battery life. The ROM even has Substratum support, so you can change the theme throughout the OS. The ROM comes loaded with awesome wallpapers, made by the same guy that also made the wallpapers for the OnePlus 3 and the 3T. They are all unique and I even use one as my wallpaper as of now. They are all abstract and really colorful, and in my eyes they look amazing. Other little tweaks include that you can rearrange the quick toggles and change the battery icon. You can also get a nightlight mode and the option to use the sRGB color mode. The OnePlus 3 and the 3T have a few unique optimizations in this version of Paranoid Android. That has to do with the fact that the developers of Paranoid Android are also responsible for Oxygen OS, the default RAM for the OnePlus devices. You can reverse the order of the notification slider, so your mute switch is at the bottom and the all notifications one is at the top. You get more off-screen gestures to tinker with, like swipe gestures to wake the phone or play music. The developers even wrote custom camera software to enhance picture quality. Loadout performance should be improved quite a bit, and color and color saturation and dynamic range should be improved as well, according to the developers at least. In my testing the photos looked amazing, but I can't say that they are better than the ones I took on Oxygen OS. Lastly, the fingerprint sensor should be a bit more responsive, since it updates more times per second than in Oxygen OS, resulting in faster unlock times. So I highly recommend this ROM, especially if you're rocking a OnePlus 3 or a 3T, since the optimizations for these devices are really great and set it apart from other ROMs. At the moment, the ROM is available for the Google Pixel, the Pixel XL, the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 5X, the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T, with more devices to come in the following weeks and months. So if you want to know how you can flash this ROM, I will leave links down below where you can find the XA thread, my video showing you how to flash the ROM, as well as the Google apps, which you will need in order to flash it. So I hope you enjoyed my quick overview of the ROM, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more videos, guys. Peace out.